Huge thanks to EA for making this video possible through the EA Creators Network. This is the World Cup game mode. The World Cup is right around the corner. And in today's video, we get to play the World Cup game mode, which I'm excited to show you guys. But I'm going to do it straight away with the worst team that you can use in this game mode. Yes, New Zealand. We're doing it on legendary difficulty with competitor mode and player base difficulty turned on. So you know it's going to be tough, especially when you realize that my best player in the team is Chris Wood. <laughs> Newcastle's backup striker that isn't even in the starting lineup. Lads, this is going to be mental. So here we are now in this big, big game against Japan. If we want to get through into the next round, this is a team that we have to beat. I'm aiming for the second spot in the group stages and look at these lovely players preparing on the biggest stage of world football, as I hope. These guys will step up to a level that we have never seen before. I need people like Chris Wood to step it the hell up. Now, in the defense, we started off very, very shaky. 32 minutes in, mistakes were made. The pass comes inside, the shot goes in, and Japan take the lead with Daichi Kamada. The Eintracht Frankfurt midfielder runs through our defense right there, finds himself in a great spot and his left foot is just deadly we try to come back 38 minutes in we have a talented player in kachache who takes the shot he is one of those players that i hope will have a huge impact for us and in defense we actually have someone stepping up three loma comes in slowly but steadily our defensive work rate is improving take a look at this once again right here kamada is through but chasing him down three loma once again he's the guy leading this team at the moment he should be my captain i don't know if he is but then the goalkeeper comes in with a huge save 88th minute we're not done yet. I am not giving up. I need to get this ball right now. We step it up. Tackle comes in. Bell forward to Barbarouses. Into Chris Wood. The Newcastle man scores. Yes, he does. 91st minute. New Zealand are going to be able to pick up one point from this game. And it's all down to the fact that Chris Wood has stepped up to the plate when I needed him the most. He might be sat on the bench at Newcastle, but over here, he is the main man and the referee blows the whistle. So that was the last kick of the game. We have done very well and we have done ourselves proud. But that is now how the group stages look. Spain have won their game against Costa Rica. What a surprise. So we have to step forward into the second game of the group stages. And this was against the group leaders. Now, my aim was to go ahead and play the highlights in this one. And because of that, I was given a couple of chances to maybe go ahead and score. But Spain, you know, get a penalty, 21st minute, and all my dreams were crushed already. I did not expect that to go that fast, but it has gone that fast and it didn't stop there. I mean, look at the passing play here from Spain. They are just playing around our defense with ease. I try to put tackles in and they are really, really hard to come by at this stage because it's tough to stop them. But then it's Chris Wood who steps up in the 66th minute. Chris Wood has done it again. Is there going to be another miracle for New Zealand as they step forward against possibly one of the favorites of this tournament? The smallest nation, the worst nation in the World Cup game mode is possibly stepping up against Spain. No, it's not. No, it is not. Ferran Torres gets the goal. It's 2-1 at this stage. And lads, I was disappointed. And now I wanted to cry because my defense was still putting up decent performances here. But the two chances that they had, they took them really well. And they could have scored more. But it's all down to this game now. We are playing against Costa Rica. This game means everything. If I can win this game... We are through into the next round. So New Zealand, now 19 minutes into the game. We are defending, but it is just so lucky from us that our goalkeeper finds himself in the right position to get that save in. But now, Barbarouses into Chris Wood. And what does Chris Wood do? He takes shots 
on target. 72nd minute. Once more, it's Chris Wood now running down into the box. Takes the shot. The back heel pass into Barbarouses. And Barbarouses, the best dribbler in this team in terms of gameplay. Down the right wing, he might not have the highest rating, but he finds the top pins with this goal. And this goal, my friends, takes us into the next round. Yes, New Zealand have beaten Costa Rica in that game. We have scored three, conceded three, but four points were enough around the 16. New Zealand against Canada. This is the moment we have been waiting for. We step up to the knockout games and luckily we get an opponent that is beatable, right? Our defense has to step up straight away. 16 minutes in, we are still trying our best, but... Canada just keeps coming through. As you guys can tell, Osorio into Jonathan David. The Lille striker just won't miss. And what a finish that is. I thought I had him with the tackle, but I clearly did not manage to stop that man right there. The Canadian won the kid that probably will get a big move after this World Cup tournament if he does well is taking that beautiful strike into the top left. You can see me trying to put in a tackle, but expected goals 0.32 and he makes the best of it 30 minutes in they were not done yet Jonathan David once again steps up to take that shot but I could not give up it just wasn't in the blood of these New Zealanders we're going through they freeze now in a good position to find someone in the center and that someone is Kachache 73rd minute it is once again New Zealand equalizing and that young man is giving us a dream to chase can we do it once again can we possibly try and score one more to beat canada right here even though we probably do not deserve it and by the way at this stage of the game i have put kachache into the striking position chris wood is off so we are relying on a left winger actually no chris wood is still here i thought i subbed him off <sighs> breathe breathe barbaruses into the center kachache kachache it's not happening this time it's not happening this time we're going into extra time yes this is not over yet it is now the 117th barbaro says into kachache the left winger or left back now in the striking position that he strikes it beautifully 119th minute new zealand is going crazy as we take the lead and possibly put ourselves into the quarterfinals of the world cup 2022 lads this was possibly one of the toughest challenges I've put ahead of myself in terms of FIFA in a long time, but we got lucky with our opponents. I'll be completely honest with you. Canada in the round of 16. Now it was time to step up once more. Who is our opponent in the next round? We're getting to see it right here. It is going to be Uruguay. Yes, Luis Suarez's nation, or should I say Darwin Nunez's nation, are going to be stepping up against us right here, right now, to try and beat this New Zealand team. Could we do it again? Now, you can tell from the get-go, Uruguay coming in with the aggressiveness. Our players are maybe not able to handle it, right? That is a bit of a worry for me. But Staminic now with the ball inside to Chris Wood. He hits the post. We keep chasing it down. Chris Wood inside into Bell. He shoots. And then a save. It is Muslera who is in goal for Uruguay who gets it done. But that gives us a corner. The corner whipped in towards Chris Wood. And it bounces off the shoulder of the man on the line. In the 23rd minute, we take the lead in the quarterfinals of this World Cup with freaking New Zealand. Lads, I was freaking out at the time when I was recording this. I went nuts. So right here. It comes off the shoulder of the defender who looks horrible on the line. I mean, if you stand on the line, do your job, mate. Look at him. He's just ducking out the way. Maybe that's match fixing. Maybe I paid a little bit of money to Suarez to do that for us. Who, who will know? I won't know. You won't know. But Bentancourt and these lads come through right here. Defensive work. You can see everyone slipping and sliding. Goalkeeper jumping all over the place. Panaker now gets it away. And we get once again into the attacking mode of things. Barbaruses into Chris Wood. Chris Wood now running through. Holds on to the ball. Look at that pass. Oh my god. That was the best pass I played all tournament. 
45 minutes in, Barbarouses with another goal contribution. But it just comes down to that pass right there, lads. Look at the beauty of that one cutting through, slicing through the defense in incredible ways. And as we step in, into the second half now, Chris Wood and his teammates want more. We want more and we nearly got it with Bell in the 51st. It was a good attack, really nice play, but it wasn't enough at that stage. So it gave Uruguay a chance to try and come back somewhat. They scored, but Cavani was luckily offside in that position. That means Uruguay now down into the 90th minute are struggling. They are not going to get it done we have beaten Uruguay 2-0 with a bunch of 60-something rated players in this team. I can't believe we have come this far, but at the same time, we'll have to once again say the matchups we have been given have been amazing. We are yet to play against a huge side like Spain. And when that time comes, I fully expect us to get battered as we did against Spain. Let's see who our opponent is. It is a 2-0 victory that I'm very satisfied with, but I am aware that we are now up against Brazil. Yes, Neymar and his teammates step onto the pitch. For me, Argentina and Brazil are the favorites to win this tournament in real life. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But we were up against possibly the strongest team out there. Now, 13 minutes in, I didn't let that scare me. It was Chris Woods who nearly got the lead for New Zealand. And then Rafinha into Richarlison. Richarlison loses it. Look at that. The defense is working extremely hard for us now. And we are pushing to run through their defense as well. But we find ourselves caught out of position. And Richarlison, if there's one player that I didn't want to concede from, it was him. I absolutely hate Richarlison because he's an Everton player, right? That now plays for Spurs, I get it. But at the time, he was just a wind-up merchant, right? I hate this guy. And he just goes ahead and scores against me any time I play against him. I would have loved to slide tackle his knees out of his freaking body. That doesn't make sense. But Wood goes again. We are not stopping yet. Wood, left footage shot. Great save by Ederson. He gets his hands onto it. Well done, but he could tell New Zealand was not here to give up early. We fought for our position. And then it was Fabinho looking into the inside. We do our defending well. We do our work here at the back. And we step up to defend a free kick that um, breaks my heart. A free kick that just ruined me. It is 2-0 to Brazil because Neymar just took a free kick from possibly 50 yards out onto the crossbar i i couldn't believe my eyes i just i don't know i was my heart was broken at that moment in time i knew it was not going to happen chris wood with the final shot the final hooray and lads new zealand were beaten yep it came down to that moment we got to the semi-finals with new zealand and i tried my best i genuinely did but it was impossible for me to beat this brazil side especially when they're in possession i just couldn't get a touch of the ball but we're not done yet because as you guys know in the world cup it's not only about the first and second place it's also about the third place so we were given an opponent for the semi uh, for the third place right here and it was Denmark. I gotta admit, some of these teams that were playing this far into the tournament, it's hilarious. But this was a doable, a, a, a match that we can possibly win. I felt it in my bones. 30 second minutes. My bones were wrong. <laughs> I was completely wrong. Denmark just came out firing, all guns blazing, and they were possibly the best team I played against. Chris Wood had his chance. He didn't take it. We could have equalized right there, and we just did not. Now, I haven't given up, though. Corner after corner after corner, and this one, yes, this one right here is getting us close, very close to that third position. It's level playing field once again in between Denmark and New Zealand, and we are going crazy. The fans are hoping to go for that third place to make a name for ourselves, but... But, my friends, 
It was just a dream. It was just a dream. Denmark crush our souls in the remaining minutes of this game. And New Zealand sadly comes out of this with nothing but the fourth place. We have made it to the semi-finals. I am proud of New Zealand. And I'm telling you right now, at some point in my life, I will travel to New Zealand. I'm looking forward to it. But that is the final table. France against Brazil. Sadly, we won't know who has won it. I'm betting on Brazil. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I had an amazing time recording with New Zealand. The next one is going to be with my own country. Yes, we're going in with Germany with a big spin, though. Expect something unexpected. It should be fun for you guys to watch. Huge thanks once again to the EA Creator Network for making this one possible. I had a great time and I hope you did too. Looking forward to more content. Take care and peace.